Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Did you know that Tonic Studios make uh, stamp sets and they have adorable designs, really unique and I like the size of them. So let's take a look at them and then I will create a couple of cards using many of the designs. This is called a cup of happiness. It features houses that are surrounded by flowers, leaves, some of them have even acorns and this one if you take a look it actually is a teapot. Now there is a cup there is a ladder, a couple of windows, and I will be using all of them for one of my cards for something really unique. Now the fun is that you can fit one of those houses on top of a cup, which could be really fun. Now here is another one which is probably my favorite. This is called Strawberry Joy and it features bouquet of flowers and strawberries. They have the same look and feel as the first stamp set and I like the size of them. So you get a vase with strawberries, a little teapot again which is absolutely adorable, a teacup and a house which I will be using on one of my cards today. The third stamp set again the same size, they are all 6x8, flowers for you. So you get two vases with a flower bouquet inside as well as a smaller sized uh, house with flowers at the back. So this one has the same look and feel as the previous ones with the houses but in a smaller size. Now in this one you also get loose leaves and flowers so you can mix and match them to create your very own bouquet and I will be using those in one of my cards today. Here is another super adorable stamp set again 6x8. This is called Unicorn Wishes. It features three different designs of uh, unicorns as well as a bunch of other bits and pieces to create your little scenes like balloons, stars, clouds, even a rainbow, as well as lots of sentiments such as happy birthday, wishing you a magical, unicorn wishes and even it's a girl or it's a boy. So it's a great stamp set for birthdays as well as for newborn babies. And now let's bring in the last one. This one is called Up in the Air and it features a really huge design of two kids, a boy and a girl, on a balloon. Now I'm going to bring in a standard A2 size, that's four and a quarter by five and a half, so you can see what a huge stamp that is. If you love coloring images, then you will have lots of fun with this one. You get a bunch of other little stamps such as clouds, a smaller balloon, lots of sentiments, even letters that are flying away, glasses that you can stamp on top of uh, the kids, as well as a little banner that you can use to decorate the balloon. I think this is a super fun and really unique stamp set, especially because it features such big designs. Now I have an exclusive discount code 15% off down below in the description area where you will find links to all those stamps for both the UK and the USA store so make sure to check it out. And now let's have some fun with all those stamps. I will be doing some masking now so that I can create a stack of cups. I have a piece of masking tape here, just a leftover from a previous card. I'm going to peel it off and I just need to have the straight line there. I'm placing the mask just below the black line of the stamped image. This way I know exactly where I need to put the next cup. I'm going to ink it up and just stamp it on top. So when I remove the mask, the cup is going to be inside the first one. I will continue doing the same process again and again until I have four cups, one inside the other. I am using black ink to stamp everything which is alcohol marker friendly since I will be using my Nouveau alcohol markers to do all the coloring. However, you can use your favorite coloring medium. It doesn't have to be alcohol markers, it can be your watercolors, your watercolor pencils, just use whatever pleases you. I am going to create a couple of cards today that are going to look super happy, super bright and colorful. It brings me joy just to look at them, so I think that I will frame them instead of setting them away so that I can decorate my craft room. Now you see for the fourth cup I did mask off the handle just for some variation so that not all the cups look identical. Now this cup comes from the Cup of Happiness stamp set and in that stamp set there are tiny little windows which I'm going to stamp inside those uh, cups. I am uh, going for a super happy card just like I said before so I am trying to make it as whimsical as possible. I'm going to stamp one more window here 
I'm not going to stamp windows on each and every cap, again I'm going for some variation, so I will leave one of those blank. And if you are a card maker, you already know the joy that stamping and masking gives you, so I had lots of fun putting my scene together using all those bits and pieces from the stamp sets. Now I'm using stamps from the Flowers for You stamp set and uh, I'm going to pick a few of the flowers as well as some of the leaves and again with masking I'm going to have a little bouquet coming out from the top cap. So I'm done with stamping here, I'm going to peel off all the masks to reveal the final result. And then I'm going to need a few bits and pieces for completing my scene, so that's why I'm going to stamp the ladder, a butterfly, as well as a couple of hearts. Now this is not the final composition on the card, I like to pop elements on top of my card, so I will color all these elements and then use the scissors to cut them out. There are no matching dies for this one, so if you want you can plan ahead, directly stamp everything on your finished piece, color them and you are ready to go. You know that I like dimensions, so I don't mind doing a little bit of fuzzy cutting for using that uh, important foam tape for me. Now I'm going to make a second card, so I will do the stamping first, that's why I brought here the Strawberry Joy, this is my favorite stamp set from the whole release, I absolutely love all those strawberries coming out of those vases. And I didn't know which one of those designs to use, but I think the house is so unique, you usually see bouquet of flowers in jars and teacups, so I'll just use this one just to show you how wonderful it is when it is colored. And here are both my stamped images, it's time to do the coloring, for that I'm using my alcohol markers by Nuvo. I'm going for super bright and happy coloring and I started with reds for my strawberries. So I'm using a combination of three markers, I'm usually working from darker to lighter since these are quite small areas to color. These markers go super easy, you can blend them out as you can see really quickly. And by the way, I'm using a uh, solar white Nina cardstock here. And the fun part about these Nouveau markers is that uh, you don't get a ton of colors, which means that they are not so overwhelming to use. So here is the chart and all the colors that I have. When I want to uh, use uh, greens for leaves, I just pick three of them from the chart and I'm ready to go. I have them here on my table and I will start coloring. I do have a review video on these markers, so look through my channel, you will find it out. These are great markers, easy to use, great blending and great price as well. Now I'm using uh, yellows and oranges for the center of these flowers and I decided that these are going to be daisies, so I'm going to leave the petals white just for some contrast in all that green, I think that those white petals really pop. Now I don't know if you like to watch me coloring a whole image, I feel like it is quite boring to tell you the truth, so I usually cut off parts of that. If you like to see the whole thing and uh, just uh, put some music while I'm coloring, just let me know in the comments below. Just keep in mind that I take the effort to read each and every comment, I try to reply to everyone, so, what, so whatever you leave in the comments below, I do read it. So this one is already looking bright and colorful, I just colored the main house, a uh, very pale yellow and the door the same aqua color like some of the leaves and now I'm going to use my scissors and cut it out. As I'm fuzzy cutting I'm leaving a white border which is making my life easier. I used my Nouveau markers to color the second image and you can see I'm following the rainbow order here, so all the way from red to purple flowers. And now for some variation again, instead of having a window on that uh, green uh, cap, I'm going to add uh, some dots so that it doesn't look identical with the rest of them. And when I'm holding my white gel pen, I cannot resist, I just have to go ahead and add some highlights. So here I'm paying no attention to where the light is, I'm just adding white lines here and there around my cups, my butterflies, even my leaves and my flowers. 
This is going to give a very happy, whimsical look that I absolutely love, but of course this is not something that you have to do if you don't like it. And since I did that on the stack of the cups, I'm going to repeat the same technique and do that on my house. Look how adorable this one looks. I'm absolutely in love with this design. And just like I did with the house, I'm going to use my scissors and fuzzy cut around the whole stack of cups. I'm going to cut out the hearts and the butterflies just because I like to pop elements on my cards. And just because I'm a little bit weird with uh, little details, I'm taking the time here to use my craft knife and cut out the inside of those handles. You can see I'm using my craft knife directly on my glass mat. I never had issues with that. I'm just taking my time. It looks like I'm doing it really quickly, but keep in mind that this is two times faster than the real thing. Love the look and since I made it so far, I'm going to do the same thing for the inside of the ladder. Little details like that really bring me joy and um, I don't care fuzzy cutting or cutting out all those little pieces. It really makes me happy and it is relaxing for me. So I'm going to take out all those little pieces and here they are all together. I did cut out a couple of clouds as well as a little birdie that I colored uh, yellow and these come from this stamp set which is called Up in the Air. Again, you will find links down below to all those stamp sets with a 15% off coupon code. I'm going to create a couple of uh, very simple backgrounds. For this first card, I'm going with uh, my blending brush and I'm applying first a lighter blue color. This is the Tress Oxide Ink and it is tumbled glass. And I don't mind if I have blotches here and there. It adds to the final look. They look like sky or clouds. So I did add a darker shade of blue at the bottom and that's Peacock Feathers. Now for sticking that I'm going to use my foam tape and if you are wondering about this big roll of foam tape, this is by Arteza. It is a, a great price and I do have a 15% coupon code exclusive for you guys down below in the description area as well. So I'm going to put that down. And to complete my scene, I'm going to stick down the clouds again by using foam tape at the back as well as the little birdie. Now this is a super colorful and really happy card, so it would be great for a birthday card, for just saying hello and have a bunch of sentiments from all those five stamp sets. But I decided for this one to go with the one that says, wishing you a happy day. And I did uh, white emboss that on a black cardstock. I cut it out with a banner die and I'm going to stick that in place. And finally, I'm going to place this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And here are some close up photos on the first card for today. I absolutely love those strawberries. Now let's move on to the second card where again I'm going for an inked background really quick and simple again. I'm starting from one corner and I'm not going to cover up the whole panel and I used mustard seed and uh, spiced marmalade. Again my distress oxide inks. Quick and simple. I have foam tape at the back. I'm going to stick my stack of cups on the right corner of my card. Having some of the, the handles coming out of the panel, the panel is slightly smaller than the standard card, so these handles are not going to go outside of the complete card. I'm also going to add bits and pieces behind the hearts, the butterflies, and stick them there just to embellish my card a little bit more. And I even took the time to cut out teeny tiny little foam squares to put behind the ladder so that I can pop it as well on my card. For this card, I went with a sentiment that says sending a cup of happiness. Again, foam tape, just like always. I die cut it with a banner die and that's white embossed on a black cardstock. Here are some close-up photos on the second card for today. I absolutely love this one as well. Let me know in the comments below which one of the two cards is your favorite. I think that just because they are so bright and colorful, they are definitely going to bring a smile to everyone. 
So here are some close up photos, don't forget there are links down below to everything I used along with coupon codes. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.